Hello, I'm Colonel Tim Wood, Commander of 59th Troop Command. I also have the privilege and honor of serving as the Joint Task Force Commander of JTF-59 and our COVID response to South Carolina National Guard supporting the citizens, the Governor, and the Adjutant General of South Carolina. As a part of this response, there's an exclusive and outstanding group of units across the state, which include 59th Troop Command, the 51st MPs, our 751st Combat Support Battalion, 1050th Trans, MEDCOM, the 228th Signal Brigade, the 218th MEB, the 117th Engineer Brigade, 169th Fire Squadron Logistics Response Personnel on the Air Guard side. We have bought this response since mid-March, supporting the COVID-19 response in state active duty and 502 Foxtrot status. Some of the missions that we've been able to accomplish up to this point was delivery to 46 counties in the state of South Carolina, the strategic national stockpile of PPE, which includes masks, gowns, things that our health care workers need to accomplish their missions. We've also provided meals to our homeless community in the Oliver Gospel Mission in Columbia area. In addition to that, we've provided food bank service, which is distribution of food and supplies throughout the state of South Carolina and Harvest Hope Food Banks, Golden Harvest Food Banks in counties of Greenville, Aiken, Richland County, Anderson County, and Florence County. In addition to those events, we've been postured to provide joint hospital triage assessment teams and tier one and tier two hospital support in case the hospitals may re reach a surge and need additional support from the National Guard. Our soldiers are also trained and postured and ready for facility sanitation, meaning we would be able to clean facilities out if there had been a COVID-19 spread of a virus in an area and we need to clean those areas. The South Carolina National Guard has always answered the call. Our soldiers are always ready. In the past, we've been trained and ready to defend our nation against enemies, foreign and domestic. We're also citizen soldiers of South Carolina and respond to hurricanes, floods, ice storms, or any other national disasters. This event has been very unique in our response. This is an unknown enemy that we can't see. Our soldiers have taken the pride in taking, stepping up in a humanitarian effort to support the citizens of South Carolina in a historic event. I say it's historic because as I speak, we're writing the new pages in the history books with this COVID-19 response. Our pride in the organization, my pride in the soldiers and what they're doing, I can't say enough how thankful I am for what they're doing up to this point so far, what they will do forward in the future, and the professionalism they have shown in all the missions they have conducted. I want to thank again all the soldiers, and especially their families and airmen, for securing our communities, assisting our citizens, and focusing on safety of our own, supporting our state and our nation. Thank you.